The best thing you can murder somebody is with an icicle because it'll just melt. <laughs>this is actually going to be in the shape of the warrior kid logo yeah this is a multivitamin sweetened with freaking monk fruit no it sure. will be the first of its kind on the planet monk fruit only yeah. holy shit bro this is good wow i'm gonna eat them i just had the three yeah yeah <laughs> did you get that are you guys ready to try something yeah. are you sure yeah. do you want to try the first warrior kid multivitamin mm. Okay, come on, come on, go, come go, on. Go, 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 go. We gotta get a close up on their face. This is for reals. These kids have no idea. The first. This is the first kids. The first kids to test out the Warrior Kid multivitamin. 
Listen, if you don't like it, tell me. Mm -hmm. I need you to be 100% honest. Have I talked to you before this point? About this? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> hey, like, what are you talking about? On three, go. Chew One, it right two, up. three, go. Chew it. Chew it. It's like candy. <laughs> what do you think? Is that good? Is that good? Whoa! Awesome. That's good. Ooh, we can call it orange creamsicle. Right. Uh, I formulated it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, shit, if shit's good, I'm claiming. <laughs> yeah, it's that only real companies actually can have whiskey in their office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get car sick, I might have to drive. Lately, Why are you getting car sick? Dude, I've been getting car sick the first time in my life uh, when, I, I'm in, in, when I'm riding now, if I'm not driving. Might have something to do with the way you drive too, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't just, look at your phone. Just prepping you. I'm not. I'm not yeah, what's the point of right, yeah. going up there? Because it's for sale. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's out of reach. But that's just that's just a matter of filling the void between the end of your fingers and the freaking mountain. The yeah. thing is, is like it's a break-even business. Yeah. The thing is, is you could have events there. I mean, we have immersion camp events. Jocko has muster events all over the country. Yeah. You know, we we have off-season opportunity. Yeah. One of our dreams has always been to have our own immersion camp, and there's seven thousand acres. It's like a freaking what two or three thousand foot vertical drop the mountain. Could you imagine? owning a ski mountain is it open can i go up there and just you know drive into where the base lodge is um yeah sure you can drive in um i mean i don't know if there's anybody there i know the lodge isn't open but yeah i mean you're you're it's i mean there are people liking that just about well every weekend there are people liking it my guess is with snowfall you got some people up there making tracks awesome awesome cool we're gonna go up and check it out it's a long play. A lot of people, when they're in business, they get so attached to the now, right? And feeling the stresses of the now, and they don't see the playing field. You know, you got to see the field, and you got to see the angles, and how things connect in to an overall, you know, mission, movement, vision, value stream. You know, you've got to you've got to see the playing field, and that's the difference between working for your business and working on your business. Look at that. My ears just popped. Is the last town before nothing this? Yeah. It, really it actually is. is. <laughs> Brody called me this morning. I was going to surprise you. And he's like, hey. I'm like, what's up? He's like, um, yeah, I just want to let you know the Madison paper mill is for sale. The Chinese company bought all the machinery. And I was like, okay, well, what do they want for it? He's like, 2.5 million. I go, what? We were just looking at that the other day. We were just drove by it. Yeah, yeah. thing you can murder somebody is with an icicle because it'll just melt. <laughs> okay. Why not, right? That's the question. It's not why. It's like, why not? Dude, when I, when I think like, you know, we could, we could own this or buy this, you know, at some point, this would be like Origin next, Mountain. Next week? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the ice king. Ice king. Me and my homie. Oh, Me wow. and my homie. Anyways, can you see the uh, <laughs> big fireplace upstairs, Brian? See up that mezzanine up there? Yeah. There's a bar up there. Events. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. They have events, and then there's a downstairs. It's massive. Oh. Why not? This is one of those things where you like get real excited. This could be awesome, but you start to get into it and it's the biggest pain in the ass 
of yeah. your life. Yeah. But if you know that's going to happen, then dive in. It's one of those. It's a massive undertaking. Massive. And this could be the origin mountain retreat. Yeah. But could you imagine having an immersion camp up here? This is it. Yeah. This is the dream. What? Dude, hold on. There it is. We started Origin to prove a point because we just didn't want to follow anybody. And we were arrogant enough to, to do that and naive enough to think we could. It's one of those things that is insane. And when these brands, these big brands see that, they're like, those guys are insane. But it's undeniable because as a team, we're doing it and we're being successful. And we've got plans, crazy plans, and we put it out there to the public and then we do it. Can we do it? I think we can. Will we do it? I think we will.